welcome to video number six in this ProFly OV10 build and today we're going to be installing the motors. So if you've been following along and you're going to do this uh, build the exact same way I am with the same uh, ingredients if you will, the same parts, uh, this is going to help you get to the fine, almost the finality of your electronics. This will be the last electronics we install because now at this point all our servos are done, retracts are installed, we just got to do the motors and from what I've been finding with the ARF kits, Mounting the motor is going to be the thing you're probably going to have to manipulate in most ARF kits anyway, uh, just based on the can size and making sure you have enough length to uh, get the motor over the cowl. So what you're looking for is about three millimeters. You want to have the shaft out there just so your, your uh, prop will never hit. So you can see I've done that if you go sideways there. You can see I've got it to the point of near perfection and I had to do a bit of manipulation to get it to work. So before we talk about that though, you can see what I've done. Uh, let's go through what you're going to need for this. So out of the kit, uh, virtually everything that comes with the kit is going to be used um, in this except for some minor bits. So obviously we have our motor mount, you have your standoffs, these are going to be your spacers that are going to go from the firewall to the Addy firewall. You have the four long screws. They give you eight. Again, everything here is doubled because you're doing it twice, but this is just one set. Then they give you uh, four larger washers, four medium-sized washers, four spring washers, and four smaller washers. All those washers get used. Now behind you, right here in this section, you'll see these are what they give you from the kit to mount your motor. So obviously they don't give you any extra spacers so they're assuming that the motor is going to be mounted directly to the firewall i tried that with this and i didn't have enough space uh, my motor was completely hidden under the cowl almost just a part of the shaft was coming out so i knew i needed more space so that's the first thing so in essence all these mount all these screws and um, blind nuts that they give you are not going to work if you're going with the admiral gp5 770 which we recommend so when you open your Admiral GP5 770 uh, package, they also come with their own screws and blind nuts. So again, not enough space. They'll mount, you know, they'll obviously easily mount it directly to the motor mount, but it's not going to give you the space you need. So doing a bit of measuring, I found that I needed about 110 millimeters, if you could see, from the firewall to this part is where I am. You can see I'm about 110 millimeters. It, this is a little more, but this ruler doesn't start directly at zero. So it's about 110 millimeters is where I went, oh, down at the bottom there, uh, is about what you need. When you mount the motor directly, you're about a half inch away. So you have to make some spacers. So what I ended up doing, if you watched uh, PC9 when I built that, I told you guys I had to do, had to make my own Addy firewall for that one. So I had bought a piece of plywood that is half inch thick. So what I ended up doing, and you can see here, is just making spacers. Uh, easy enough, just cut four little blocks. You know, they're not in perfect shapes, just enough so that I had clearance around the actual holes that go into the mount, um, into the firewall. But that gave me just enough space to go out. But now the only thing I had to do was buy longer screws um, and blind nuts to make this work. So. Uh, what I noticed was, so this is this was my dilemma. These screws that that either come with the kit or with the Arrow Motor Admiral Motors are M5-.4. They're uh, metric screws, but they're only 20. This one's 20 millimeters that comes with the Admiral Motor, and this one's even shorter. So when I made these spacers, I could not get the blind nut that the Admiral come through to catch with the half inch. So I ran over to Home Depot hoping to find M3. Uh, dash 0 0.5 25 millimeter screws because that would have gotten it done but they were out of stock on them and I didn't want to order them online and wait any longer than I had to so I decided to go with the next step up which I bought M4 uh, dash 0 0.7 and I bought 30 millimeter screws just to give me you can see it comes out the back just to give me more than enough length with the uh, blind nuts that work for it now the only thing I had to do to get those to fit because the holes in the Admiral motor mount um, they only accept uh, up to an M3-0.5, so I just had to use a smallest little reamer just to ream out the hole just a little bit in the actual plate to get it through, and that's really the only manipulation I did uh, to get this installed. And then from here, you can see, bring this down a little bit, turn it, 
can see inside, I'm probably gonna mount my ESC right on the plate where they want me to, probably just zip tie it on, maybe a little Velcro. Um, or I may put it, I may mount the ESC behind just to make sure, but I'm, I'm thinking with a model like this, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to worry about my ESC overheating. I'm not expecting this to be, you know, a powerful, I'm, I'm expecting this to fly similar to our Tiger Cat or a Flightline P38. Um, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but it's something I can fix later. But basically right now, all the electronics are installed. So with this side, I'll be ready to start finishing it off and getting everything completed. But let's get started now. We are going to mount our second motor on our second uh, fuselage. So let's do it. All right. So now, first things first, you want to build out your motor. So we have the GP5770 Admiral. When you open your GP5, you get all the accessories that you're going to need. You get your motor, you get your prop shaft, and your nut and everything all included. So let's get this built up. Let's empty this. Just gonna rip it open. There we go. So perfect. You have the same screws. You can see all the screws that we're not going to use because I've already done this for you. But there we go. So the only thing from this you're going to need are the four main screws that are gonna attach the motor directly to the back plate. So that's what you're using. All this, you can save, keep it in the spare parts bin. You're not gonna need it for this build. And here's my prop shaft. And we'll get the, that installed, my nut and my washer. So we'll get that installed with the three screws. And that'll take no time. I'm gonna fast forward through this and show you when it is complete. All right, so now the motor is complete. There's uh, the finished product all mounted up. Now, what I'm gonna do is now remount these four holes because I know I'm gonna need to do it to accept the screws, the extra screws that I bought from uh, Home Depot. So I'm using my reamer and it went to, all I needed to get it was to, I believe it says 512, but uh, my reamer actually, it, it went over the, the part that I can see, um, but it is the second notch on this little handy tool I got from Harbor Freight, actually. So let's just do that. It's the first. You just got to open up the whole one little notch. So you can see whatever, wherever it fits with the reamer. You can see the reamer will only go in so far. So you just do it where to the next notch. You on it, Alex? Here we go. There you go. Do it on the other side just to make sure. And that's one. Okay. That my screw now fits in perfectly. All right. So now next step. Obviously, we're going to attach. We want to attach this here, but I need my spacers. So come over to your plywood. I'm not worried about it being perfect, but I'm just gonna go down. I made four spacers out of this. So we'll time lapse this. Simple as that. These are my four spacers that I'm gonna use. And when I put them on the tray, they're gonna be, you know, in covering those holes. So you just want to make sure they don't cover the holes where that are actually going to mount this Addy firewall to the main firewall. So now I'm just going to drill a little hole in each one to accept the screw. So now, next step, one thing I will say about the motor mount when you mount it, they, it looks symmetrical, and it is. The, the four screws holes that fit the firewall are symmetrical, so whether you're upside down or not, it's gonna fit. But if you notice, the four, the four holes for the motor are not symmetrical. So when I mo mounted this one first, I realized it was far too over to one side when I put the cowl on. So you just wanna make sure this is in the proper direction when you mount, uh, when you mount your motor onto the fuselage. 
So if I'm gonna be here, I want that side because you can see this hole should line up evenly with the hole in the fuselage. If I go this way, if I turn it upside down, it is not. So even though these four holes will accept, your motor's gonna be too far over to the side. So I wanna mount my motor in that orientation. So let's do that now. Now, next step, coming back to all the parts that come with the kit, the rest of the parts that come with the kit, we're gonna load them up. Now, one thing you'll see, the blind nuts are already installed on the back of the firewall. They're already nicely glued or siliconed in there, so they're not going anywhere, which is great. So all you have to worry about is, so everything lines up perfectly, so it's just you building it. So what you're gonna do, take one screw, so screw, so spring washer, regular washer, Send that through. Perfect. Now you're gonna go larger washer, spacer, and the biggest washer put up against the firewall. Bang. So that's one. So what I did though was just make all four and send through all four. Uh, at the same time, line it up and it'll work pretty easy. So let's make the other one. So there you have it, motor is mounted. Now let's just test fit it, so I'm just gonna push my wires through. Get ready to accept the ESC when time comes, but let's put our cowl on, see how we did. It should be perfect. See, we're about three millimeters away. The prop should never hit. Let's see, test that theory. Perfect, right there. So that's where the prop's gonna go. So that is about it. Now I'm gonna be going with a ZTW 65 amp uh, ESC. So that's all I'm gonna plug in. So at this stage, um, since the last thing I'm gonna do, I would plug this into the motor and just make sure you've got the proper direction. I'm gonna go with the 10 channel with the satellite and then I'm gonna go with a twin 4S, uh, two 4S packs, 8S is what I'm gonna run this on. So uh, I'm gonna just test this with a 4S battery. Nice. And what's our direction? That looks right. Perfect. Now, if the motor was spinning the opposite way, hope you guys know, very simple fix. Any, take any two leads, any two of these three leads and just swap two of the wires and your motor will spin the opposite directions. So there you have it guys. At that stage, that's installing your motor. I got enough uh, clearance for my cowl, so that does it. All the electronics are now installed, so now it's a matter of just, I'm gonna be mounting my ESCs just on the plate that's inside the fuselage there, probably with a zip tie, maybe some Velcro. I'll get that going, and then the last stage is gonna be now finally fully getting this thing assembled. So in the next video, we're gonna go through one section at a time, because the way the OV-10 assembles, you're gonna get a half of the wing on top of this fuselage, a half of the wing on top of this nozzle, and then you're gonna connect them to the big fuselage, and then we still have all the little minor detailing, decals, things like that. And the last big project here is gonna be making sure that I have enough leads, because inside of each nozzle, you're gonna have a motor, you're gonna have a throttle lead from your ESC, you're gonna have a servo, uh, you're gonna have a landing gear lead for your retract underneath, and on one side, you're gonna have just a rudder lead, which is right here and I already labeled. And then on another side, you're gonna get the elevator because the elevator plugs in to the back of the two rudders and one side has the, uh, you know, has that lead. So you're gonna have to get enough extension to get it down through the vertical stab, 
past where the rudder servos are into here and now these have to come up through the bottom of the wing and have enough leads to all get into the main compartment so make sure you have extensions but we'll go over all that in the next video that'll do it for the motor setup guys we are excited with the admiral motors on front we're almost done stay tuned for the next video